What is up, Rams? I hope you're having a great Fat Tuesday, and I'm here to make it even better with some great entertainment news, starting off with the Oscars. If you watched them like I did this weekend, then you definitely felt the same roller coaster of emotions that I did when Faye Dunway read the wrong winner for Best Picture. What happened was Faye Dunway and Warren Betty were given the same card that they had just previously read, which was Best Actress. The card read Emma Stone, La La Land. So the confused announcers decided to go with it and say that La La Land won, when actually Moonlight was the winner. If you're like me, then you're most likely in shock after this because you're 100% sure that La La Land was, win, was going to win, and you told everyone that they're stupid because there's no way it can lose. I guess, though, there is one person that definitely won that evening, and that was Steve Harvey. I can totally picture him saying, thank God I'm not the only one. In some other TV news, a new show has been made in Iceland that is as dumb as it sounds, yet it's widely entertaining. And I'm talking about keeping up with the Katardashians. Yes, I'm not joking. This is actually a show. It's an Iceland live stream about four cats that live in a cat house where they can play, sleep, eat, and enjoy the finer things in cat life. Of course, this show wasn't made just for entertainment. This show was made when they partnered up with Iceland's rescue and adoption shelter and adopted these four cats to create awareness and advertise for the adoption shelter. According to the, the owner, business has never been higher and the four original cats have already been adopted, but four more are coming in to fill their paws. This show is live streamed on their website 24-7. In some other animal rescue news, a few pups invaded a local bar this weekend. At Prost Brewing Company this past weekend, five adorable puppies from Bounce Animal Rescue came to hang out with customers while they drank Prost straight beer. While these puppies may be new to Colorado, they still knew how great Prost beer was and tried to get a drink for themselves. I spoke with Northern Colorado director from Bounce Animal Rescue who told me how these puppies got here. These puppies actually came from Oklahoma. Sleeping. I came from Oklahoma. So these guys were at risk um, down in Oklahoma. They were actually in a kill shelter that euthanizes the uh, uh, gas chamber essentially. And so pretty horrific just because it can take a couple days for them to actually pass away. These puppies were rescued not too long ago and they were eager to roam around with customers and, well, do what puppies do. Like chewing on everything, sliding on tables, eating my microphone, and of course, snuggling and sleeping with every single customer. These puppies will be up for adoption in the next two weeks at Bance Animal Rescue Shelter on 226 East Harmony Road. If you plan to adopt these dogs, I encourage you get there early because I will be first in line for all of them. No joke, I have a tent and sleeping bag all set out. President Trump, as we all know, has been banning certain news organizations from coming to certain meetings at the White House, claiming that they are fake news, when some of these fake news sources happen to be CNN. And that's when Shepard Smith, a Fox News reporter, came to the rescue and defended CNN by saying that, quote, fake news is made up nonsense, delivered for financial gain. CNN is not fake news, its journalists follow the same standards to which other news organizations, including Fox News, end quote. This is the third time Shepard Smith has stepped in to defend CNN and all of Donald's claims to fake news, and thank goodness he is. With today being Fat Tuesday, or the last day of Mardi Gras, we are going to talk about the best places in Fort Collins to get all of your favorite New Orleans food before it goes away. The Lost Cajun on 331 South Meldrum Street, Suite 11 in Fort Collins, is spending their last day of Mardi Gras with a catfish boil. The fish, located on 150 West Oak Street, offers some traditional crab country boil, cornmeal fried Louisiana catfish with smoked frog lace, and king cake by the slice. And lastly, what would Mardi Gras be without some jazz? Jack's Fish House uh, Oyster Bar on 123 North College Avenue is serving traditional food with some traditional live music performed by the John Gray Band. We may not be able to spend the last night of Mardi Gras in New Orleans, but these restaurants can make you feel like you are. 
Well, that's all the time I have for tonight. Make sure to watch our local beach show tomorrow and have a great night, Rams.